Hello guys, welcome to Compared to the Gamers, I'm Fat Danny and this is a GTX 1070 repair guide video. So my GTX 1070 cooler has died. It's a KFA2 OEM design for Zoo Storm. It was just a basic card, nothing special, but it worked. Did what I needed to do, but the fan just completely is gone now. So I went onto eBay looking for some options to um, replace the cooler, looking for new shrouds. Alpha Cool had some brilliant all-in-one water cooling designs with modular, so you could link a CPU cooler in, but it was just a little expensive. And I'm trying to save a bit of money, so and I'm not bothered about overclocking it. So the next option was Arctic Freeze. Um, they've got a few in the range, but they were going up to 60, 70 quid. Bit expensive still. So on eBay, I was looking. I was looking for a 1070 Founders Edition uh, cooler, but couldn't find one. But I managed to find this. It's just a Founders Edition cooler, but it's for a GTX 1080 Ti. So this video is going to be seeing: Can we retrofit this onto the 1070 and bring it back to life? And uh, I'll link the guy where I got this from. It's a little shop in Wayfield that builds computers. He doesn't sell computer parts. He just builds computers and sells them. But um, on his eBay stall, he sells all these uh, unused shrouds and other parts. He sells other computer bits that are unused. So for guys like me who are trying to repair their graphics cards on cheap, this is a brilliant option. So if this fits on the 1070, all you guys have got broken coolers, get out there, get them. Because they're nice and cheap at £20. It's going to be the cheapest option to repair a 1070 and bring it back to life because I haven't been able to use my computer for over a week. So let's see if we can get it on, guys, and get back to gaming, get some more videos out there for you guys.
Okay, guys, so there you have it. You have seen that the 1080 Ti cooler will fit on a 1070, which is a blessing because it saved me a fortune. And uh, as you can see in the background, it's been running. Um, I've been running for Fermark for a half an hour, stressing my GPU. And as you can see by the results, it's staying at a nice toasty 74, 75 degrees with the fan up to 50% on auto settings. So it's brilliant it'll never get that i'm guessing i'll never get that i wonder just normal gaming so so if any of you guys have got a 1070 1060 i'm guessing all these founders edition coolers will fit on all founders edition pcbs because i'm looking online all the pcbs are pretty much the same you imagine you get more thermal pads if you go from a if you've got a 1080 and you get find a 1060 cooler but it won't work with any of the aftermarket makers like uh, Strix or the MSI cards. They've all got different PCBs, so it won't fit on there. But if you've got a Founders Edition graphics card and the cooler's broke, as you've seen, they all fit each other. So my 1070 looks like it's an 80 Ti now, so in videos it'll look cooler. Right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions about anything that you've seen in the video, any tips that if you're struggling to get some work, because... It does fit, but there's a bit of wiggling you've got to do just to make sure it gets there. So, and if I have any issues from now on, I will update the video and let anyone know. Check out the me check out the message underneath, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thanks for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button, and uh, remember, all subscribers get carried over to every giveaway we do in the future. So, bye.